What's going on guys? It's your boy Maximum RPM coming at you with another video today. Um the battle between Hercules and Phoenix um will be done soon, but it will not be in the Super Stadium because it's a stamina and a defense type. My camera's being all kinds of weird. It's a stamina and defense type. The Super Stadium is for attack types. Um so, yeah, that's not going to be happening in there. It will be happening in here, though. So, uh, yep. And we're going to be testing out one of my Beyblades for the Skit Series and some of the other Skit Series Beyblades that are really good. So the Beyblade that I'm testing is Fengriff 11 Jolt. It was able to burst my Sprise and Requiem Arm Cycle, and it's the only Beyblade to ever do that. So, let's see how it does. First of all, we're going to be putting it up against Archer Hercules. Just so we can see how it compares. Um, if it can burst Spryzen, let's see if it can burst Hercules. There's the only problem that flat spots easy. All right. Didn't do anything. Why am I not surprised? I was going to say, Spryzen is one thing. Hercules is another. Let's try out Phoenix. That was a snipe shot. It's not like it really matters. Phoenix is a beast. So, yeah, that was a snipe shot, but uh, we're just having fun today. Now we have some left spins. So this is Dragoon 7 Glaive Orbit. This is what broke my fake Achilles. Let's get right into it. This Dragoon's good fast and slow spawn, and it was able to break another Beyblade, so it's like, yeah, this thing's good. I was going to say, it takes it with a spin finish. Now, let me show you guys that it's good with uh, power launches as well. Alright, here we go. through it. But it did take quite a beating. This Fengriff, guys, will not stop until the thing that it's fighting is either broken, stop spinning, or just it's had the crap kicked out of it. Alright, so we're going to be trying Salamander 6 Meteor Wedge um, 10 bladed mode. So guys, I have the orange Genesis Veltriac, which is better than the blue version. Um, I haven't shown it off yet. I already did an unboxing on it, but my phone was overloading, so I had to get rid of it. And, uh, yeah. Alright, it did a little bit of damage. I'm going to switch it over to 10-bladed mode. So, tomorrow, or today, when you're seeing this, is Wednesday. Um, Friday, I'm heading to New York, and I will have parts of my skit series in it. Uh, five-bladed mode. So yeah, I live in New York, but I don't live in the city. And I messed that launch up. I live in the Adirondack Mountains. Um, we actually had some light snow today. Um... So, yeah. Look at these hits. Come down the stand up, and it just ripped right through it. Now that says something. We're going to slow spin it now in five bladed mode. 
Now some people might say that's a little quick, but I'm still getting Fengriff ready. And I completely missed the stadium. <laughs> so this is why I give it a bit of a faster spin. Alright, Fengriff, you're getting on my nerves. It's built for one thing, and that's power. Control is not in its menu. Alright, now it's time to put it to the real test. Up against... The True Jet Black Dragon. Belkesh 12 Vortex Loop. I need to get another fake... Okay, I thought my thing was out of whack. I need to get another fake Eclipse, because that comes with a black 7 disc. I've only ever seen the Hasbro Belcash be broken through one time, and that's because I built a combo for it to be broken through one. This combo, I don't think, is ever going to burst. Belcash gets it. So I'm actually going to put this thing in. Slingshock mode. I've never really used slingshock mode on my Jolt driver. I don't use the slingshock modes. I just don't find that they're that good. There you have it, guys. I mean, this Fengriff combo, I mean, it's not the best, but it's not bad. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have the parts, build it. Belkash still didn't take any damage. I'm going to try it up against one more Beyblade again, and that's going to be Phoenix. I feel like I can get it to burst. Stamina just died. If this doesn't break through, it will not win. It needs to either KO or burst its opponent. And when I get my when I get a new BB10, that'll be a little bit easier. That armor's gone. Some people say that the uh, Star Storm is the worst stadium. It's a really good stadium. It's just not for everyone because of its unique Tornado Ridge. Um, in my opinion, the Turbo Stadium, the Rail Rush Stadium, is the worst. That's not true. The Hasbro Blue Stadium, the one with the three pockets, that is the worst thing ever designed. For crying out loud, seriously, like, I can't think of it. Archer Hercules would self-KO in that thing, and Hercules doesn't even move. Um, but I'd say the Turbo Railroad Stadium comes in second worst. I'm not saying it's a bad stadium, it's just not good because the Beyblades get stuck up on the rails, um, which causes the fight to be... I want to say unfair, but not always equal. So, I, in my opinion, it's the Turbo Rail Rush Stadium, because no one uses the blue one. So, uh, alright guys, that's about it. I'm going to quit rambling. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope this video makes your day just a little bit better. Live life to the max, and stay awesome.